See that silly standing. Oh, it gets complicated. Tight area, but I got it in. Hope. Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Today I'm gonna be installing custom dynamic LEDs. Do a whole conversion to the back. Change it from the running lights that you currently see. Change it from turn signals only with a running light on the main tail light. I'll do the whole, all three using the custom dynamics. I think it's called magic play or triple play. You turn all three lights into running lights and then signal lights when you're turning. Take a look at Grego's guys. I'm Sandy, channel's name is Holy shift. This is my new 2022 Lowrider ST in Gunship Gray. Upgrades just started. Flat out bar by Harley. The short windshield by Harley. I already have audio system, the Rockford Fosgate audio system. All the things you see, I already did a video and I have a review. Check out my channel for the rest of those. Today, I'm gonna be installing the Custom Dynamics Triple Play, I think, or Magic, Magic Play, or whatever the name is. What it does pretty much, it changes uh, the tail light, the tail light that has the two turn signals on the sides cha changes the whole functionality from uh, turn signals only to running lights and turn turn signal i'll also be changing the lens so it's going to be all red so i'm going to have three red lights you can see what it looks like before now i just did a walk around going to work a little bit just as the things cool down over here so i waited till seven o'clock in the evening so i can start work i've done this job already on blackbird my 2020 electric light standards pretty much plug and play I'd like to thank Custom Dynamics, Karen from Custom Dynamics for providing this as a gift for me to review, to install and review. I will obviously give you my honest opinion. I can tell you already like a little uh, spoiler. I already know that they're good because I installed them on my 2020 electric light standard. So again, thank you so much to Custom Dynamics for providing. And you see that silly standing erect license plate well custom dynamics also provided me with their uh curved lay down license plate bracket so we're going to do that as well we're going to do a whole conversion to the rear end so we have here like i said before three play three play for the soft so this is pretty much like i said turns the three the three light assembly into a running light all and a turn signal this is the LED license plate frame. That's gonna be changing this guy. And this is the actual mount itself that's gonna be, uh, you know, mounted instead of what I currently have. It's called the plate frame mount. Got some nice stickers. I got a cup holder or a beer holder. And these are the actual LEDs that will go, instead of this, they actually have red lens, but I actually asked for, for if it's blacked out because I wanted to have, wanted to low look kind of a grayish or blacked out color. So they also sent me out these smoked lens. We were at the process of discussing with Karen from Custom Dynamics. They also offer smaller or shorter profile tail light. But currently, because the ST for, for whatever reason, there's a different connecting element in the back, they still need to work it out because they, uh, Custom Dynamics like to do everything cause a plug and play. And apparently the the current connecting cable doesn't fit the tail light that they currently have. So they're working on it and like, so they're actually manufacturing it over there, over here in the United States. They're manufacturing that, uh, that cable to fit the specific model, the ST. So for now, I'm gonna, just gonna be changing these two lights to LED elements. I'll run the triple play inside under the seat and once Custom Dynamics has uh, figured out a uh, connecting cable, they're gonna send out the low profile tail light. Let's take the license plate off. Okay, now I need to get underneath. There are three bolts over here, let me show you. There are three. Three bolts over here. No. While I'm at it, guys, head over to my www.holyshift.us. There's a, a raffle, 2015 Sportster. Iron 883 that's gonna be raffled in the next few weeks. Just go get yourself uh, a shirt, a sticker, anything, entry tickets. Okay, the bracket is off. Oh, they actually provide uh, the tools. 
Much nicer, huh? A bolt, an Allen bolt, and a nut. Did I say already a 13 millimeter? complicated I need to take some uh, I need to get some connect uh, connections electrical connections where'd I get this from uh -huh. where'd I get the electric electric power from okay guys why I took this off is I did not expect actually not expect the LED lighting of the license plate and I did not do my research properly. And there's actually uh, an electrical wiring that's supposed to connect, to connect to the, some of the wires that come back here. And I need to figure out how to run the wire from behind the plate, concealed so you don't see it and find its way over here. I don't know how to do that right now. I, I, I didn't prepare for this. I thought it was just like a, a license plate that license plate that is nice and and uh bent down or what he curved curved and lay down i did not know that i have the option of the led so i'm not going to deal with this right now i'm just going to keep it as is i'm going to call custom dynamics tomorrow if they have because i didn't find anywhere over here where i'm supposed to get my feed for the running light i open it up you know seeing maybe i can tap in over here but apparently it's not exposed and i imagine that in custom dynamics tail light that they're working on not working on that they're uh setting up for the st right now there's a solution for this so for now i'm just gonna install it the way it is with i'm gonna ignore the led illumination of the license plate once i figure it out i'm gonna do a follow-up video so for now this is what i'm doing this is what i'm doing i put I put the license plate on and the frame on. You can see you need to cut the top, the top part of the license plate right over here by the top because there's a cable, this wire that goes. So you need to, to trim off the, you know, the top part of the license plate to let the wire go in. And the wire goes in from the back. Now this is where I need to find out where this wire goes. I can see it goes into here, but I don't know if they want me to drill through the through the fender itself. I don't want to do that. Anyway, I'm going to call them. Maybe I need to drop it underneath here and then find my way into here. But for now, I'm just going to wrap this up and keep it tucked in behind. Look, it's raining. It's raining on me. Let's wait here until the rain stops. Just one cloud, nasty cloud that came down. License plate is now lay down license plate, curved, but not lit. I'll figure out the lighting later. What I like about uh, these, they are water sealed. Cause if you compare it to the Harley stock, look at the Harley stock. There's no seal over here. There's like a little rubber seal. There you go. So it's not as a running light, but when I hit the signal light, works left side now let's take care of the functionality of the triple play it's under the seat remove the seat phillips uh, screw over here 
Okay, I'm allowed to criticize. Uh, this picture is black and white and it's terrible. I just can't work with it. I'm trying to figure out the connection of the connections over here. Once I figure it out, I'll, I'll let you know exactly what I'm doing. But this is really unreadable. I'm trying to figure it out. You see this, there are three plugs over here. One that I took out, I don't know the name of it, but it was all the way on the right. Then there's one that has a black piece of plastic and a gray. So the black piece of plastic, that connector, connect with the brown wires. These are the brown wires. So that goes in here. That goes in here. Clicks in. And the other part goes in here. So pretty much it's split up. The brown, the brown ones went one into the bikes black clip and then the other side where it goes to the turn signal itself now i'm going to do the same thing with the other with the other clip it says the purple one goes on the gray gray clip you see the gray clip i open it up and then i i tap in so let me take this clip off it's a little click over here open it up now i go in with the purple purple one in click click and then close it up on the other with the other side and I think we're done over here for now okay so the next next connection needed needed is right here on this plug that I already took it out it was all the way on the right I took it out and this is where this plug this is the main plug is gonna tap in again we put in this part and on the other side, we connect this side. So let me show you. As you can see, we tapped in here. We tapped in to these two. Now this, I don't know where we're gonna secure this. We'll figure it out very soon. The actual model module and this needs to go somewhere over here let's find it okay i must say i must say this was a struggle you see take a look the the connectors are one on top then there's a second one this is the second one was here then there's the big one I took out the second one. That's the one you need to take out. It doesn't come like that. It has a dummy a dummy plug. There was nothing connected to it. It was like a, it was it's like an extra power source. You take it out. Now the big the big challenge is actually getting getting this plug in. It's very very tight. All you need to get in is this part, this specific part that's going to go in and connect here. And that's the one that's getting power. I only threaded it in through here. I uh, used a lot of force, let's put it that way. And the actual module itself stays outside. So let's connect this. Once I see it works, I'll close this up and then I'll secure the module over here under securely with all the wires neat and tight. Just so you know, I did a test run before I close it up and it's working. Okay, before I close it up, let me show you what I did. The module itself, I put two uh, 3M Velcro pieces on both sides so i can take it off and on and off it's actually from an easy pass holder that you put on the windshield for the car so it's mounted over here with a little bit of electrical tape i held uh, the excess of wire that i had going into the side cover i zip tied this little plug this is an extra plug that we have left over no need for it with a little you see over here zip tie another zip tie here and here and going to here so everything is nicely tucked in around not touching the whole shock area now I'm gonna put the cover and show you what it looks like so as you can see it's running lights And it's pretty bright. <laughs> Very nice. And as a brake.
turn signal. So that's it. That was, I would say, an easy install and to just plug and play, literally plug and play. I just had to figure out. I, I love this. I love the system. As you've seen, you have different, I think, eight different options for the braking sequence. Right now it's strobing and then after like two seconds it goes on steady. I think it's obnoxious. I personally am going to change it on. I like it more, you know, subtle maybe. I think there's like a little dial. You change it to whatever you want and then turn on and off the bike i'm not sure i don't remember simple actually very simple install only thing and complaint that i have is that you know the instructions are black and white i don't mind if it's black and white maybe make the uh, the pictures a little bit bigger better uh, contrast because it was very difficult to figure out i did figure out but it needed a little bit uh you know thinking and exploring hope that uh my video actually helped you with it was a tight area over there with the soft tail Tight area, but I got it in. Tight area, but I got it in. Hope this video helps you to locate, to find. I'd like again to thank you, Custom Dynamics. I love their products. Thank you so much. And, uh, that's it for now, guys. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out.